So here we go guys, welcome back to the channel and good Saturday to everyone. Uh, first thing, uh, what we're gonna talk about today? Today is the royal palace of Second Henry at Deir el Balas. Why does this matter? Because this is the oldest and best preserved royal palace of ancient Egypt, meaning this is where a king, the kings uh, would be there, you know, live for a while, okay? now. The special thing about this palace is that they, this was not actually the house where he actually lived. This was basically a camp base, um, was not in the, in the capital, okay? The, the kings were, were living in the capitals, in their, in their own palaces. Now this was done like some kilometers away from Luxor, from Thebes, okay? And uh, means that it was a base camp to prepare the campaign against the Ixos at the north uh, in the most exciting time, I think, uh, where in the second intermediate period, when the the, um, the Egyptians from the south wanted to reconquer the Egyptian, uh, the, the ancient Egypt of the north, right, against the Hyksos. So we're gonna talk about the palace. Um, I'm gonna show you my screen. Let me put my camera smaller here. Here we go. So this. Now, before actually we go into the topic, uh, I want to tell you two things. First, why not subscribe to the channel? Like 80% of you watch the videos but don't subscribe to the channel. Go for it. Uh, this really will help me and my, you know, all of, all of the things that I'm doing here. I really wish you uh, your support. Um, second, I have to thank Shlomo, the friends of the channel, who help me all the time with the research. Sometimes, like, this is really helpful. So, thank you, Shlomo. And uh, third thing I, I really want to mention is, uh, guys, this is the video on the Deir el Balas um, ancient, like uh, royal palace. But I've done a pot, like you know, I've got the podcast also in this channel under podcast section. So you want to check the last video because I actually had Peter Lacovara, the archaeologist that excavated this place. Okay, for the last like what twenty years or so. So. Uh, he is the mastermind behind the excavation and everything so you might want to check out that video because that's full of information It's full of questions that I did. Okay, so this video is just an introduction to the palace And then if you want the full experience you go for that video. Okay, so thank you guys. <laughs> Let's start So what is what are we <laughs> what are we seeing here? This is the mummy of Ahmose, okay, and it's supposed to be at the Luxor Museum, but maybe, maybe is in the uh, ancient civilization uh, museum in uh, in Cairo. I don't know where this mummy is now. Uh, it might change the place, right? But this is Ahmose. Ahmose was the guy. who was the first, if I'm not wrong, was the first king of the 18th dynasty, the famous 18th dynasty, right? With Tutankhamun, Akhenaten, and all of those famous ones, right? So this was the grandfather of everyone, <laughs> let's say. Um, he conquered back uh, the North, Egy North Egypt. It's a super exciting time because uh, the ethnic group of, of the Egyptians will actually get back to their own, uh, will, will take their own land back, right? Uh, that's it's super exciting. But anyway, uh, this is Amose, and this guy uh, used to plan the campaign against the Ixus in the royal palace that I'm going to show you very soon. So these are a few stones of the columns that remain in the palace, okay? And what, uh, these are stone columns, okay? And uh, this is just the base of the column, right? That, that is left. And uh, what we know about the palace is that it was this huge enclosure, and I'm gonna show you like a few, you know, over, the, over this uh, video. Uh, it was a huge enclosure, and inside of the enclosure, there was one palace with, some, with a lot of courtiers, but mostly empty space. And why empty space? Probably because if attacked, you will have a lot of space to gather people and uh, and the army. And right, so I think that was for safety reason. Like it would would have worked as a fortress and not as a house. Okay. So <clears throat> so this is what's left. Uh, but yeah, so. What are we looking at? This is mud brick um, casemates. Okay, what are casemates? The thing about this palace, and it's very interesting, and it's not gonna be just in this palace, but it's it's a recur like it's something that uh, it's um, used uh, also in uh, palaces after this uh, this one, is that 
the palace itself, the, the place where the king actually was living, eh, uh, was above the floor level of the ground level, okay? So it was like five meters above. So, and these were the foundations of the upper building, right? So these are called casemates, uh, casemate. Well, it means that these are walls uh, with sand and gravel inside that forms the basement, the platform on which the actual uh, palace was built on, okay? So, and everything was built in mud brick, which is kind of, you know, mud brick actually is the most used material of ancient Egypt. Like when, when you talk about ancient Egypt, you think about stone, but no, mud brick was the material of ancient Egypt and lime plaster, right? And uh, they were using this, uh, I don't know how to say in English, but the white uh, thing that you, you know, you can just paint in white. Uh, I don't remember in English, guys. But anyway, so this is the, um, the what's left. And uh, where are where are we? But just to just to have uh, an idea where where we are. So you see, this is the bend of the Nile. This is where the Nile bends, right? There is just one bend. Okay, the Nile goes up, down, and then there is one bend in in the middle. That's where we are. And you see Luxor down there. So you see, whoop, Luxor here. That's um, that's the site of ancient Thebes, the capital uh, of the Middle Kingdom and the New Kingdom. Okay, so and Deir el Balas, the palace that we are talking about, is just you know whatever, like what twenty kilometers there. So it's just above there, and it's a strate strategical point because there was a, a route on the left, uh, on the right, in on the east. That would um, you see that there is still nowadays this road, right? You see, you see the road. So this is the route that would lead to the Red Sea and to some port there. Okay. Uh, so it was a strategical point. Now, um, if I'm not wrong, these are the stairs, but I think these are the stairs of the South Palace because in this place, uh, you don't just have the the Royal Palace. You just you also have another one on the south. Uh, but it's way more like destroyed. We just have this stair case. What Peter Lacovara was doing, he was there to preserve the site from the aggression of the modern city and also uh, to reconstruct using the same material, mud brick, with a stamp on saying that this belongs to a modern time uh, so that the more visible the uh, archaeological site it is, the less the locals would, uh, you know, uh, feel like they are entitled to build upon okay so that's actually how it works <laughs> and it's very sad but at least we got you know uh, people archaeologists that do this and guys uh, i i want to ma to mention one thing like when we are like i hear that there is a lot of like people uh, against like the narrative the mainstream the archaeology guys archaeologists are the underdogs archaeologists are the underdogs they are low paid they, they, they risk their lives, they go and take like, they, they try their best to get funded to, to save monuments. Yes, of course, they, want, they also want to, to be published. That's, that's the, why would you do that also? Like, you know, you wanna do that, the whole thing out of passion? Yes, yes, but you also wanna, you know, make it as a job, right? So, um, I would, <laughs> you know, if any, like people on the like alternative anyway like side uh, will donate five percent of their income that they're making on top of mysteries of ancient Egypt. That would be very good. Uh, that will help a lot to preserve the sites uh, that uh, that you actually speculate on. That, that would be very good. But anyway, this was just uh, <laughs> outside of the scope of the uh, of the of the video. So the North Palace is this one. You see, this is the enclosure, right? The, this this big rectangle. And then what's left of the North Palace is just that little core, but we know that it, it extended more uh, on the east, okay? So you see this is the, the the full thing. And the site is not just that palace, as I was saying, this is also like the South Palace on the left, you see? So, um, so yeah. Now, this is the plan that's left. What do you see here? Do you see the dots? The dots are the columns that are left. Uh, wait a second, because I can do like this, yes. So if you see, the, the, the dots are the columns that are left, and when, when there are columns, it means that there, are, there, there was a roof, right? So we know that probably this was all a covered area, right? And also here was a, you know, this, this is how we can detect that there was a roof, um, most probably, right? 
And then you see the, these these spaces that don't have any door. These are actually the casemates. Okay, this is uh, this is actually where the royal palace would have been built upon. Now, the thing about this is that we lost completely the upper floor because uh, in the later time there was like a Coptic church, like something like that, that was built on top. So once the Coptic church was removed, uh, or or whatever, uh, we did we don't have any more the you know. Um, we we don't have we, we can't say sp like super precisely how it was the layout of the upper floor but we, I got a sketch here uh, with an idea now you see this corridor this was probably the entrance of the palace okay you will pass through a corridor then a little room which were probably was the place for the guard for the guardians right then you will still go for another corridor access this courtyard and which was probably the place of the army or whatever and then you will access like a little space here with the stairs and will bring you upstairs where i'm gonna show you very soon the um, the plan so where you see the stairs here you will access the upper floor this will be the presentation hall the so the, the place where uh, the king will appear to you will you know receive you okay then this will probably be an occult area, okay, where you have the statue of some god or, or the king himself. Uh, same thing here, right? Uh, now, bedrooms, bathrooms, like most probably bathrooms were outside the, 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 the whole thing. But bedrooms was maybe, look at this one, maybe, because there is this line. And so when whenever we have like a bench, we know that there were probably that space was probably used to sleep, okay? So uh, in regards of other spaces like this one here and this one here, I don't I don't know what's like I don't know what's that uh, I don't even know what this what this is right. So because we don't even have this you know this plan is just a reconstruction uh, an idea idealistic reconstruction of what could have been the first floor okay uh, based on what we got uh, on the casemates foundation. So. Actually, I skipped. So this is actually the leftover of the pyramid of Ahmose in Abydos, uh, if I'm not wrong. And this is the last pyramid of Egypt, uh, basically, uh, because I don't count the New Kingdom pyramids like the ones that come like uh, in the Ptolemaic period. And, like those are not pyramids. Like come on, this is the last pyramid of Egypt, and is is basically the guy that we're talking about today, right? So it's kind of curious because uh, Egypt wants to conquer back the north and to get together and from now on it will be will be um it will begin the most uh, incredible and most like prosperous period of ancient egypt and where ancient egypt even expanded a lot as well so 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 yeah and this is uh, very interesting is that the the period where they were the most prosperous and they were like conquering everybody like that it's the period that they really stopped doing pyramids. Like this was the last guy doing it, uh, which is super curious. Anyway, this is a reconstruction from Peter, and uh, this is how it could have looked the palace. So you see, this is where I was mentioning you the corridor of the entrance, right? Then you get into a door where the guard is, and then you go to the right in the courtyard, and then you will probably access this huge uh, two-floor um, palace now it's not two floor like it's one floor but one above this casemates foundation now you see why this part is uh you know higher it's because it sits on top of those foundations okay so now another thing is like he was mentioning about this decoration on top here and this comes from syrian architecture but i i've seen like similar things uh before this time in the funerary complex of joser in Saqqara but are not the same thing. Uh, he used to have like snakes here, like depicted here, and whether here it's more like Syrian architecture, more like, you know, standard, like, but, but I actually don't know uh, much about this decoration uh, style. Now, this is from Google map, what's left, uh, you can't really see much, right? But you can see that the city is like invading quite a lot this, uh, you see here the casemates, right? So, the city is quite invading, <laughs> you know, the, as, as, it, as, as it always happens. Uh, so that's why we need to fund archaeology, right? And not just uh, fight <laughs> archaeology. Um, restoration work begin done on the North Palace. So this is what's, uh, what's they, what they've been doing. You see, 
So the lower part here, the most, the more rough, is the ancient one, and the more geometrical one is the more modern uh, mod, mud bricks. Okay. So this is a very genuine thing to do. Like you see the difference between them, and in a thousand years you won't notice the, notice the difference, and it's fine. It's fine. Like it's really fine. Like it's not like recladding the pyramid of Menkaure with any without any clue on how to do it. This is not the same thing. This is actually helping the site to be preserved, and you are doing it with the same material with a stamp on saying this belongs to the 21st century. So it's amazing. This is how you should do it. So thank you, Peter. Um, so again, like you see here, to preserve the original wall, you see, they put the mud bricks on top. And these are also biodegradable. Right? They don't use concrete. So they don't, they're not gonna ruin the ruins, right? So it's just amazing. Um, so yeah, I think this is, was everything that I had for you. Like if you, if you, you, you might want to check out the actual video uh, with Peter. Uh, so if you go under podcast in my channel here, you see the talks and uh, I've got a talk with Louis de Cordier with the Mataha expedition, uh, one with Andrea Toccolini, the architect behind uh, a proposal for the ancient Egyptian museum of Turin. And then the, la the latest talk is with Peter Lacovara. Uh, I am soon, uh, I'm preparing another uh, talk, uh, I'm not going to reveal now who, uh, who is, um, but it's quite exciting and uh, it will be a little bit out of the box, so, but uh, she's uh, welcome to come over, so let's see, but um, the next palace, uh, I don't have the list here, but uh, I think it's going to be amazing and it's going to be more in the north uh, of Egypt, so I'm going to I'm gonna let you know uh, what's what's that. So yeah, don't if you like the video, like the video, please. That helps the algorithm and subscribe to the channel. Don't like forget. Don't forget. Okay. Ciao. Have a good night. Good night. See you. Ciao. <laughs>